So, firstly, not sure what this is, whether this is something left over from your modeling or whether this is a part that's supposed to be attached. I'm going to assume it's not. First thing I'm going to do is clean up the outliner. I'm going to select all these groups, edit ungroup, obviously, uh, also delete, delete history for each transformations on the mesh. Incoming connection means that um, you have a key somewhere in the channel box on some part of this. Easy fix, edit, keys, delete keys should work. There we go, now we can freeze transforms. So you accidentally press an animation hotkey, which has caused a, uh, um, a transform to be keyed on the timeline. Um, what I'm also going to do is uh, create a new camera base projection in the UVs simply because sometimes you get non-manifold geometry errors if you have non-manifold UVs. So just creating a new projection, zoom out a bit of everything. It's going to be a mess, but it's basically going to reset the, uh, reset the UVs back to, back to zero. Going to go through deleting history, ungrouping, and then I'm going to delete all the unused transforms. If I select everything, delete history and freeze, and any transforms left over, they're not going to go away by deleting history. So I'm just going to manually delete them. All right, obviously, you would keep your cameras and your curve and stuff, it's stuff you used for modeling, but. I'm going to make sure I just delete everything I don't need. So when we subdivide, we can see the error. Um, it seems like basically you have something really weird going on here. And I have checked. It's not geometry, but there is a few problems we can fix to begin with. If we assign a new material to this, you can see that these are not empty faces. They're faces that are the wrong way round. I'm not quite sure how you did it, but uh, there's a button to fix it. We select everything. Mesh display conform. Conform just picks one direction for all the faces to go. So it actually did it the right way around. That's a good start. That backwards faces that are attached to or share an edge with forward spaces is considered non-manifold geometry. Another problem is down here. If we go into vertex face mode, you can see what the problem is. We have this, this face in here. So this is obviously left over from some kind of uh, duplicate and rotate operation. Uh, du uh, vertex face mode is really useful for finding stuff like this. So we can now go into face mode, try and get our camera inside the mesh like so start deleting all of these edges. We have a lot of edges stacked up here. A lot of faces stacked up, I should say. So this looks a lot better. We can see all the way to the edge there. So we know that should be all good. Delete history of breeze transforms. Let's do a quick edit mesh merge. We lost one vertex. So I'm not sure where that one was. And let's do the same thing on edge. Uh, um, merging edges is called poly sew, the operation. And it should sew together any stacked edges we have, but the edge count didn't change. So it seems not to be a problem. Merging verts should do the work for us unless there's a very specific problem. So this part's looking better. This all looks in order, to be honest. This this is just because there's no uh, edges to support it. But we still have the problem up here. Now it's different here than it is here just because this edge is supporting um, 
the subdivision where it's this side. This side and this side don't have that supporting edge. So yeah, something really weird going on here. Now, I think the best approach is to try using mesh cleanup. Uh, and if that doesn't work, we'll try deleting some some faces and bridging to rebuild those faces in a in a cleaner way so let's grab all this mesh clean up clean up matching polygons non-manifold geometry let's tr turn on laminar faces let's turn on all of this So it's broken something down there. Not sure what it did there. Let's start with just laminar faces. See if it does anything. Nope. Still seeing the same result. Cleanup doesn't seem to be fixing it, so. it's worth a try next thing i think is this seems to be the problem face loop or face ring and i can't select it in a line so we know something's wrong with the edge flow here can't select this edge in a line either but can't really see why definitely one vert definitely one vert there Single edge, single edge. It's saying there's two edges there, but they share a vertex, so I'm really not sure how you've managed that. One thing we can try. Thirty edges. It's definitely not merging them. Okay. Let's try and delete this. So now everything looks correct, yeah. There is the same problem up here. So hopefully we can select this and we can select this. So I'm just going to bridge them. Same geometry, but it's not broken anymore. So then we just need to do the same thing along the top. Once again, we can't select this loop for some reason, but we can select here so we can then grow and then deselect this. It looks correct when we subdivide. So I'm going to select both the edges and bridge. Now I don't see any more errors. Obviously there's some stuff to change like these edges are going to need uh, some supporting edge loops but it all works properly now. I'd need to know uh, what process you use to model this that caused those errors but just diligently going over the mesh and finding the faces that are stuck inside and sometimes the faces just refuse to be cleaned up so in the case of this ring and this ring just deleting uh, all the faces and bridging 
to rebuild them was the much better option. Okay, hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully you can follow through those steps that I've laid out here.